If you're a husband here today or you're a wife here today, take a moment and look at that ring. And I want you to think about this, that wherever you are, wherever you go, whatever you're doing, when you look at that ring, you know that there is someone walking with you, praying for you, loving you, and supporting you. I will tell you this, as you get older, this becomes more valuable each and every day. She means uh, the world to me, you know. Uh, it's hard because I'm not a person uh, who will open up too much to too many people. Uh, but she just seems to have this intuition about her. She knows when things are wrong. She knows when to ask about my day. She need, knows when I need encouragement, when I need all kinds of stuff. And it's just, it's a blessing to have uh, someone so kind, so understanding uh, and loving in my life. Uh, it's something that um, I definitely cherish and one of the biggest reasons why I'm marrying her. I just want to say it's been an honor these past few months, especially to really get to know Colton. And uh, I can understand why Rachel fell in love with him. He is a strong man of God. I never thought that I would meet the love of my life at age 16. I am so thankful that God brought us together and that we have this amazing future ahead of us. I can't wait to wake up to you every morning and go to bed with you every night. I love you so much. Well, family and friends, by the power invested in me, by the state of Indiana, but more importantly, by Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you Colton and Rachel, husband and wife. Colton, you may, with my permission. <laughs> Kiss the bride. I know it looks like I'm nervous, uh, but I'm really just excited. This is a long time coming. I've known that ever since uh, about even before we started dating, um, we were sitting at Ichthus that um, I think it was 2012, June, and uh, we stayed up together and looked at the stars for a while. And I knew at that point that even though we weren't together that I wouldn't be fulfilled and that I would regret so much if I didn't seek her out and to really chase her. And I'm so glad that I did. I mean, just a few months later we started dating and you know, three and a half years later, here we are. And uh, it's just so overwhelming and so surreal. Never a dull moment in our household, like I said before. Especially a lot of people might not know, we had to move during this wedding. Not only Colton and Rachel, but our family had to move. It was crazy. Um, but Rachel was awesome and she looked at it as a positive way and she was so positive and she was just so gracious and I love her for that. 
Even when our family had to make the drastic change to moving back to the Midwest, I knew everything would be fine because my best friend would be there with me no matter what. But little did I know that moving to the Midwest would lead Rachel to find the love of her life. Marshmallow Vanilla Cokes at the Igloo. <laughs> True. Worse or for better, and I will be all you need beside you. I'll stand through the good and the bad. We'll give all that we have, and we'll build this love from the ground up. It starts with joy, beautiful spark of divinity. Whoever has been lucky enough to become a friend to a friend, whoever has found a beloved wife. Let him join our songs of praise. Seek him above the canopy of the stars, for he must dwell beyond the stars. So Rachel, you have become the friend of a friend. And Colton, you have found your beloved wife. And just like Tom and Kevin said earlier, the Lord is alive within all of you, and it is such an inspiration for those of us who have yet to follow in a Christ-loving fellowship, as you two have. Rachel, I take you as a gift from God. To be my companion through tears and laughter. Sickness and in health. Work and play. I will love you faithfully. Constantly and prayerfully. Now and forever. I promise to be faithful to you. Open and honest with you. And I will respect you. I will forgive you as we have been forgiven. And I will love you. And be thankful for the blessing of your love. Until death parts us. Someday we'll wake up. Thousands of pictures of 65 years in this little house. I won't trade for nothing the life that we built. I'll kiss you goodnight and say, I love you still, and we'll build this love from the ground up. The worse off a bed. chosen me to be your husband. That you have chosen me to be wife. your wife. Or excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Is there forgiveness in this life? <laughs>